Now, in the United States, the first CIA officer ever to be jailed for leaking information is about to discover how long he's to spend in prison. CIA veteran John Kiriakou has pleaded guilty to revealing the name of an agent who was involved in waterboarding terror suspects. But his supporters say he's been pursued for blowing the whistle on torture. Here's our Washington correspondent, Matt Fry. Can I be honest with you? I am bad news. I'm not your friend. I'm not going to help you. I'm going to break you. Any questions? Zero Dark Thirty, the movie based on the true story of how America's most elusive foe was tracked down and killed. Osama bin Laden. The film doesn't skirt around the fact that Osama bin Laden would not have been found without information extracted by torture. You'll never find him. And the film itself would never have been made without information leaked by someone in authority. This is a movie the White House wants you to see. I became the chief of counter-terrorist operations in Pakistan, uh, where I helped capture many dozens of al-Qaeda terrorist suspects, including Abu Zubaydah, who at the time was thought to be the third-ranking official in al-Qaeda. When John Kiriakou talks about his feats, he sounds at first like one of the CIA's heroes. But listen more closely. After we captured Abu Zubaydah, I spent uh, several days as his sole minder uh, while the agency figured out what to do with him. And what they ended up doing with him was to take him to a secret prison and to torture him mercilessly, uh, including to waterboard him 83 times. We need to know the names of the people. Waterboarding, an enhanced interrogation technique, or in plain English, torture. Systematically used by the CIA after 9-11, Kiriaki was the first agent to go public about it and is paying the price. What are you going to do? He's gone from decorated spy to disgraced convict. Don't kick me! Oh. Soon he won't be playing with his kids in their suburban Washington garden. He will serve a 30-month sentence, the first American ever to go behind bars for waterboarding and not for having committed it, but for having blown the whistle on it. None of the high-pressure situations I ever found myself uh, in overseas working in counterterrorism, including two uh, attempts on my life by different terrorist groups, uh, could, could compare with the, the notion of the entire weight of the U.S. government coming down on me. Guantanamo will be closed uh, no later than one year from now. Remember this, day one of his freshly minted presidency? Four years later, Guantanamo Bay remains open for business. There we go. Yes, this administration has stopped waterboarding, but it's also gone after leakers like John Kiriako with a vengeance. Barack Obama was elected on a platform of transparency and change and has led the worst clampdown on whistleblowers in history. In your opinion, torture or not torture? I think, yes, torture. John Kiriako broke the CIA's code of silence. He went public on waterboarding, called it torture, and then cashed in on the publicity with a book and lectures. Here you are, sir. But that in itself wasn't enough to trigger an investigation. This was. His revelation of the identity of undercover agents involved in the torture of inmates like these at Guantanamo Bay got him into trouble with the Obama administration. First, there were spying charges, but they were then dropped after a deal in which Kiriako pled guilty to revealing the name of one agent. Your client did, after all, plead guilty to revealing the name of an undercover operative. That is a no-no. Yeah, he pled guilty to confirming the identity of a torturer. The administration would say that if you allow such leaks to go ahead, the clandestine services can no longer operate in a clandestine way. Do you buy that argument at all? I do not. The government is the biggest leaker in the United States. This administration seems to sanction leaks and indiscretion whenever it suits them. For instance, telling the makers of Zero Dark Thirty some of the details of the raid on Osama bin Laden, or indeed providing details of drone attacks and targeted killings to the New York Times in the middle of last year's heated election campaign. At the same time, it's a fact that the Obama administration has prosecuted more leakers than all other administrations put together. So where does that contradiction leave this administration's much-touted belief in openness and transparency? Matt Fry, Channel 4 News, Washington.